All right, so let's get into it. The first one is called 12foot.io. What this does is it removes paywalls from articles. I know that there are times that you've gone to a website and super annoyingly, they've locked all their content. Um, this is especially true if you're doing research or finding articles for your clients. There's just a ton, like you and I are probably not going to subscribe to Harvard Business Review for our own enjoyment. But if you are in need of one-off articles for clients, what you are going to do is copy and paste that link into um, this little bar. You're going to remove the paywall and then, oh, lo and behold, you can finally read the whole article. The next one we're looking at is pretty incredible. This person does not exist.com is AI generated photos. The people that you're seeing on this screen are not real. And the reason that you might want to use a website like this is if you're doing uh, either website building for yourself or for your client, and you quite frankly are tired of using the same royalty-free photos over and over and over again, you're almost guaranteed to get your own unique person to feature on your website. So let's say for example, your client is building a website and they need testimonials. If for whatever reason, they don't wanna use the actual person's face, you can come to this person does not exist. The benefit there is that it looks like a realistic person, but you're not using the traditional, you know, businessman on royal uh, royalty-free photos. The next one we're looking at is a really awesome website because it takes all of the big website terms of service agreements that, let's be honest, none of us read, and it grades them for you. It's called TOSDR.org. That's terms of service I didn't read. If a client says to you, can you please sign me up for a Reddit account, for example, this website grades the things that you're looking at. So grade E is the worst. It goes from A, which is the best, to E, which is the absolute worst. Um, so instead of reading some of the legalese that you may or may not understand, it just dumbs it down for you, for a lack of better words, so that we can actually understand what it is that we're signing up for. Um, the reason that I like to do this for clients is because I can say to them, hey, you know, th this might not be a great website because it can read your private messages. It can delete content on your behalf. Um, it's tracking you. Is this something that you want to sign that you want me to sign you up for? Or do we look for an alternative? The last one I want to talk about is FakeSpot. Now, this one is super cool, too, because um, to no one's surprise, there are a lot of fake reviews and sellers on Amazon who are shipping and selling fraudulent knockoffs. The fake spot is actually an extension that you add to Chrome. And when you come over here to Amazon, what it will do is when you click on an item, it will automatically read through the page SEO itself and the reviews, and then it will give you a grade. The reason I'm including fake spot in this is because I do a lot of online shopping for clients. Sometimes clients will say things to me like, hey, um, I need you to research the best uh, baby strollers for my newborn. And having grades like this is a great way to help you easily identify which products are the safest, the realest, <laughs> the best for your client, and avoid the ones that are faulty. Thanks for sticking with me on this week's video. I hope to see you on the next one.